Three PLC libraries are available, the Allen Bradley, the IEC Standard, and the Siemens. Once again, all components are listed by category inside their respective library. The input-output cards, as well as all other contacts and switches, are found in the electrical control libraries. Your rung has a default number of connection ports, but you can stretch and resize it to properly fit your sheet and ladder size. By double-clicking on the card, you can access the component properties where you can change the number of inputs, outputs, display addresses, to display addresses on the cards, check the display address option. Then go to Displayed Information, uncheck Card Name, and enter the appropriate terminology in Address. Now, the addresses are displayed beside the card. Use the Electrical Controls Library to set up your input-output card. Follow these steps. Once your rung and cards are set up, go to Ladder Libraries and start building your logic. To link the contact to the input, double-click on it, access the Variable Assignment window, and link the contact to the appropriate input. To change the displayed information, double-click on Contact, access Displayed Information, and check Address instead of Tag Name.
Let's create two simple pneumatic circuits and control them with the PLC. To copy, select circuits, hold the control key on your keyboard, and drag and drop the circuit to the other location. Double click on proximity sensor, access variable assignment window, and click on modify to change tag name from P1 to P2. You can create a personalized library with contacts, coils, and other components that will have your preferred displayed information by default. In this case, address instead of tag name. To create an internal bit variable, go to the Variable Manager icon or press F12. Select New Variable and give a tag name. Access the variable assignment window and link the coil to the new variable. Follow the same procedure for all other components.
Link the solenoids and the proximity switches. Let's link the contact to the DN bit of the on-delay timer. Now that all the connections are made, we can simulate and look at the following sequence A positive, B positive, 10S, AB negative. Timer is counting up to 10 seconds. Time length can be modified by accessing the Modify window in Variable Assignment.